So this is our sixth time at um, Bleeding Camp 1 on Gashabrum and this time Gashabrum 2 is out of action. It's been loads of snowfall, it's loads of avalanches so we're um, concentrating our efforts on this one, Camp Gashabrum 1 and it's a last gasp attempt before we all go home. Five 8,000 metre peaks, K2, G2, G1, Broad Peak and Nanga Parbat have seen just 13 summits and 8 deaths. There's our Sherpa crew getting ready there. Uh, the weather, well, the jet stream is still on the mountain, as you can see it's still really cloudy. Still lots of snow, we're expecting snow this afternoon, so we're going to push on up to the coal there. Um, so there's no sign of the, the snow and wind diminishing. I really wish to add myself to that list of casualties. We're not using any fixed rope high up either. Having arrived at Camp 1, we've decided to pack up all our gear and go straight to Camp 2. There's all these big packs. Reason being so that we can break trail before the snow, but it's snowing already. It's also very sunny, so people don't know whether to wear a jacket or not. Yeah. Uh, the Gashabrum lies about 6.5, we're going up to about 6.2, 6.3. So about another three or 400 metres. <coughs> so, we are on our way up to Camp 2, G1. Junkies! Still sticking two fingers up at me. Fuck you. Yeah. I teach him well. It's um, quite tiring progress. It's all been breaking trial. So here we are at Camp 2 on G1. Watching a team of Korean climbers go up to Camp 3, that's G1 there. Now, we're speculating because that's the Japanese Kuwa, but they're going up a ramp just above. So they're not actually going up the Kuwa itself, they're going up a very steep snow slope. So there they are, going up there. Nobody's convinced that's the most sensible route. So you can see him going up, not the Japanese cool one. Yeah. This is last year's rail, last year's ropes, which is not the safest yeah. thing. But uh, everybody's putting their faith into him, but uh, they haven't made a huge amount of progress since they got up. So we think it's taken them about two hours to get there. So far. Already used it. So we came up that way yesterday. That's G6 and G5. Um, very, very tiring. We came all the way from base camp, so it's a climb of about 1500 metres, carrying a big heavy rucksack for most of it. I was absolutely fucked, so was Gordon. Uh, we almost thought of stopping halfway, pitching a tent, but we made it in the end, but we got here at 8 o'clock, 8pm, 14 hour day, uh, rest day today. Oh, I thought they'd just been to two. Because they fixed it. Yeah. The, sh the Sherpas fixed the start of it, they didn't fix it. Well, I mean, they fixed wherever they fixed it. And then the Bulgarians took over. So you can see the winds coming off the summit there. Although it looks like a, a tranquil scene, it's probably 40 50k wind speeds up there. Um, so, um, risk of frostbite, risk of getting blown off as well. Um, it's not a good, it's not a good time to be on the mountain. The Koreans are persevering.
So my Gwen Arian are going up with Passang and Temba. The rest of us have decided we don't like it. So me, Gordon, Phil, Gombu and Tarki are all staying, or heading back down. So here we are, back again, and very happy to be safely through the ice field and heading home. We um, we remained a little bit concerned about the um, the enthusiastic youngsters, Michael and Arian, up there at Camp Three overnight um, with the high winds. Uh, but we're relieved to hear this morning that they've made a sensible decision to turn around. They went about 100 metres um, and decided it was too windy. It, it looks idyllic up there, but if you, um, if you can see the prayer flags fluttering, um, this is down at base camp and they're 3,000 metres above us, so it's very, very windy and dangerous up there. Um, but they're heading down and hopefully uh, they'll successfully negotiate the ice fall and be back either tonight or tomorrow. It's a slight hazard, um, there are lots of crevasses in the ice field. Um, difficult for Gordon's wee legs, he had to do a few running leaps to get over them, but um, I hope they'll be back safely and we'll be, we'll be heading home again and have a nice beer and some um, some decent food and a comfy bed. Well done guys. <laughs> well done Passang, well done Temba. Hello, hello, hello. Hey. Hello, hello. Hey. Hello, hello. 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 Four hours to come down from Camp One. Yeah, you did better than we did. We're in, we carried tents and extra food, and then Gumbu came up like an hour and yeah. he helped us a lot. Hi, oh, Michael. He's taking us oh, our Michael. Oh, this is a recycling hand. Sorry. <laughs> you guys okay? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, that's in the ice fall. We got lost and we had to sort of do some windy some yesterday. Yeah, he yeah. was blowing all day. We could see it. We heard a rumor that the Korean woman went with oxygen. Yeah, I think probably we could see people. We think we could see people coming down. Yeah, coming down yesterday. Yeah, we so. Okay, so she did something when she said that. Yes, Mark. Okay, when there's a bit When she say when she say. Unfortunately, your Bulgarian didn't summit G2. You didn't get to the top. I didn't. No, nobody did. Spanish guy? They, they claimed they, they claimed they summited, but we know because we were watching we them all day it, they that it was they bullshit. At the same time as we saw them on the traverse. Okay. So don't feel too bad. Well, did you make guys that went up to seven three? Seven did three. Sure Brilliant. The guys didn't leave anything at camp one, any trash. Oh, we took everything. Good. So we even took extra food that you left in the tent. No. Yeah. Well, we sent like Gumbu to get her out. <laughs> he left it. He had it, he and then he came, he came down. He carried down seventeen freeze-dried meals. He he's too he's like, I've got a confession to make. We're like, what? He's like, I left all my food in camp one. <laughs> I, cr I crevassed all of mine. Yeah, and we I tried to crevass him, but we couldn't it. do it. He was too big. He got stuck at the top of the crevasse. Good job, loser. Thank camp you. three. You survived. Look at you. Hey, oh, you're so skinny. Yeah, yeah. So gone. Yeah. But we had a good yeah. time, we really had a good time. Yeah. Uh, the Kuwa is a beautiful climb. You get avalanche, like there is debris coming in from the farmers above you because it's just vertical. Um, and then you get to the top and you have Camp 3, and you just over the, the comb of Camp 1, and then G5, G6, oh, G2. Hi.